everybody. Uh, not feeling very well, actually. I thought I won't make a video this morning. Uh, I thought, you know, it was kind of a quiet week. We had the Carabao Cup, which I honestly didn't look at a single result. I saw a little bit of uh, Copa del Rey, where, you know, Mars uh, had a lot of trouble, whereas uh, Real Madrid won 4 0. German Cup. I think the big result was Leverkusen, uh, just I think it was a 5 0 away victory against a pretty good team. I see, I don't even know the name now. So, yeah, it was kind of uh, off week. The big thing was Milan that I talked about yesterday. But there was one thing that was even bigger. And um, unfortunately, my attention is not on that competition, which is the Copa Libertadores down in. South America. It's a competition that I actually would like to watch a lot more, but you don't have the coverage here in Europe. Uh, actually, uh, oddly enough, the Copa Sudamericana, I get uh, some highlights, which is basically the Europa League, but I don't have it for the Libertadores. Um, and why is it so special? Because River won away to the defending champions Gremio, Porto Alegre. Uh, 2-1 after losing uh, after losing at home 1-0 and this was kind of the big result there where River made it to the final. The other semi-final, Boca had, had already won 2-0 at home. The other semi-final was against Palmeiras from Sao Paulo um, where Boca had already won the um, first leg 2-0 at home. Now uh, they got even a 1 0 lead. Palmeiras turned around by the end of 2 2. So, what we have is a super classic final. Uh, Boca against River, which never happened before. This, uh, if you're not familiar with uh, Libertadores, this is the equivalent of having Barcelona and Real Madrid play the Champions League final. Um, I would say this is probably the biggest rivalry in all of South America. It's the two biggest teams from, from Buenos Aires. Um, there are other teams that are big. I'm thinking Independiente, I'm thinking uh, San Lorenzo. So, you know, it's not that those are the only ones, uh, but River and Boca make all the headlines. In, in a way, Boca is the most supported team in Argentina. And River are the millionarios, and they are basically famous for La Machina big attacking five in the early 50s which basically are the foundation for uh, the great Argentinian play um, that then fell apart in the 1958 World Cup. <laughs> uh, as you may know I read uh, on, at the beginning of this year and I finished over summer a book about the history of soccer in Argentina um, Called Angels with Dirty Faces, which actually refers to the River Frontline. I can highly recommend it. It's written by Sid Wilson. Uh, a really great book that goes. And uh, what I like is when um, history books about soccer not only take into account the um, actual story on the field or beside, but also the larger story of Argentina. Um, which is always important to have, so uh, it fits very nicely that and for that it's a really, 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 really great book that I can read. So the River Boca final, and uh, the most interesting thing is when I saw yesterday, I made a quick glance over the Wikipedia page for the 2018 Copa Libertadores. If you look at the group stage, I think Brazilian teams won six groups and Argentinian teams won only one, River won their group. And Boca finished runner-up, um, but then eliminated uh, big teams. And so Boca is kind of the underdog in this um, matchup. They are not the. At least it seems like they, they they didn't have this clear run as River to the final. Although now the semi-final against Palmeiras, yeah. Of course, uh, Brazilian sides, to a degree, also there are Argentinian ones always suffer from. Uh, that they are seasons, and this is more Brazil than Argentina, because Brazil really plays in the calendar year. Uh, Argentina has overarching, uh, uh, similar to European, but every time, if there's a huge talent, it's already transferred for further away, and 
that can cause serious trouble and you know I think also affects the quality of play because the big stars are already so nice. But yeah, that is a final I'm I cannot describe to you how excited about the River Poker Copa the Copa Libertadores final. That's about as good as it gets. So yeah, I'm again I probably won't be able to see any of the games A they are in the middle of the night, which prevents me from watching them. And B the zone as far as I know doesn't have the Copa Libertadores. I hope they at least get the finals so I can watch some highlights because I really would love to see that. I actually remember watching, but this was in the Argentinian League. I actually watched a little bit of Monca River at one point. And uh, now to top it all off, I want to finish off this Super Classico by taking on now to this video uh, a quick jersey review of those two South American giants that have some of the most iconic kits in the entire world. I think there are very few that can measure up. Uh, with the iconic and with those two, so let's get right to that. Okay, let's look at the jerseys. Uh, first of all, my voice is in very bad condition. My cold is not getting better, but I decided I have to make this video because the nice intro I made this morning uh, will not last longer than two days, so better get it out and done. We're gonna look, of course, at Boca and at River Plate. We're gonna start with Boca, the home jersey by Nike, which at first is the classic Boca design with the dark blue, the yellow stripe across the chest and of course the uh, crest with all the titles that they have won. Every star uh, corresponds to a title. Uh, if you look at the sleeves, there's a slight pattern on there. I'm not sure uh, how clearly shown it is. Um, however, the one design flaw that this shirt has is that the uh, band across the hoop doesn't go all the way around. It's just on the on the front, the back is just a plain yellow so that the no, uh, names and numbers can be yellow. There's also this the yellow taping on the back. Uh, I think this just says Boca. Kind of a little bit is disappointing. I really would like the hoop to go all the way around and they maybe have even a white number as they sometimes had. So uh, for that, yes, it is a classic looking Boca jersey. Um, it's just not perfect. For that I give it 7 stars. And to make this a little bit a longer video, I also look at the away jersey, which has a similar design flaw, but it looks very interesting. It's white and it has the uh, blue chest band uh, outlined in yellow, which I really like already. And then they, they use what Nike is doing in 2018, the zigzaggy pattern, to give it even a little bit more uh, character to it. Uh, I actually think this one looks really, really nice. Uh, maybe not a classic Boca weight jersey. I think the classic one is yellow with a uh, blue chest band, but um, you gotta maybe tell me more about that. I'm not, I know about Boca, I know about their jersey, but I'm not sure that much about away jerseys and so on. Anyway, I like this one also quite some, and I would give this eight stars. And now to the big rival, River, which has one of the most iconic shirts. Both shirts are super iconic in world soccer, I have to say. This one, of course, is mirrored by Peru, but Peru has it from River, uh, gotta be said. Uh, but the difference between Peru and the River is that River also has black accents, and that's what we get here. We have the classic sash design in white shirt with the red sash. I don't like that the sash is not going across the shoulder and it's also a little bit cut on the sides. That's maybe the one downside. Um, to in true 2018 style, there is some additional patterning to the sash. So, you know, you have some shadow lines going through it, but it nicely houses the uh, crest. And then uh, you have the black Adidas 2018 color. Yes, could look better with a red um, trim and the uh, black shoulder straps overall. Really nice looking shirt. Uh, it also allows the number to be displayed in black, which is what you would expect. And so yes, this uh, one I actually like better than the Boca home shirt, um, but I still would not give it a perfect square. I would give it eight stars. The color is a little bit too weird, 
also uh, this shadow stripe within the sash, um, in my opinion, could be a little bit better. Really weird is the away jersey, which is purple in the all ever present Adidas template. Um, yes, the purple and the white doesn't look bad, but it's not a river to me. If this was a red shirt, I could understand it much, much better. So uh, it's more like an underleg. The underleg shirt looks similar. And for underleg, if this looks good, for a river, it doesn't. I only can give this four star, but the most interesting shirt for river, of course, is the third jersey. Which is really an alternative to the home jersey because it has the same base colors in white and then it has some red. It's a little bit more red in there. And I also like that the um, uh, red stripes are outlined with black or you can say white uh, outlined with black. Which gives it a distinct South American feel. Uh, maybe you can say Brazilian feel. Because uh, you know you have Grêmio, you have Fluminense and you have Flamengo who use... No, Flamengo doesn't really use that style. Uh, I think Sao Paulo has used this style for their away jerseys. But yeah, there's, there is a certain um, South American-ness to it, probably more Brazilian, that makes me uh, like this jersey actually quite some. I also like the simple collar and then, you know, the striping, the bare sleeves are maybe a downside. But yeah, uh, ah, let's stay with eight stars. I'm going to stay with eight stars. I was thinking nine, but I think eight is a little bit more appropriate. Well, let me know what you thought about these jerseys, uh, which ones you like and which ones you dislike. I hope my voice is getting better and I can dish you up with uh, videos where I have full voice again. Uh, if not, you know, as soon as I get better, I will make uh, more videos again. Um, give me a thumbs up if you liked the video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these, and I will talk to you soon.